A lab color space is a color opponent space with dimension L for lightness and A and B for the color opponent dimensions, based on nonlinearly compressed CIEXYZ color space coordinates. The dimensions of the Hunter 1948 L, A, B color space are L, A, and B. However, LAB is now more often used as an informal abbreviation for the CIE 1976 color space. The difference between Hunter and CIE color coordinates is that the CIE coordinates are based on a cube root transformation of the color data, while the Hunter coordinates are based on a square root transformation. Both spaces are derived from the master space CIE 1931XYZ color space which can predict which spectral power distributions will be perceived as the same color, but which is not particularly perceptually uniform. Strongly influenced by the Munzel color system, the intention of both lab color spaces is to create a space that can be computed via simple formulas from the XYZ space but is more perceptually uniform than XYZ. Perceptually uniform means that a change of the same amount in a color value should produce a change of about the same visual importance. When storing colors in limited precision values, this can improve the reproduction of tones. Both lab spaces are relative to the white point of the XYZ data they were converted from. Lab values do not define absolute colors unless the white point is also specified. Often, in practice, the white point is assumed to follow a standard and is not explicitly stated. The lightness correlate in Sielab is calculated using the cube root of the relative luminance. The LAB color space includes all perceivable colors, which means that its gamut exceeds those of the RGB and CMYK color models. One of the most important attributes of the LAB model is device independence. This means that the colors are defined independent of their nature of creation or the device they are displayed on. The LAB color space is used when graphics for print have to be converted from RGB to CMYK, as the LAB gamut includes both the RGB and CMYK gamut. Also it is used as an interchange format between different devices as for its device independency. Advantages Unlike the RGB and CMYK color models, LAB color is designed to approximate human vision. It aspires to perceptual uniformity and its L component closely matches human perception of lightness, although it does not take the Helmholtz-A Eurocolorage effect into account. Thus, it can be used to make accurate color balance corrections by modifying output curves in the A and B components, or to adjust the lightness contrast using the L component. In RGB or CMYK spaces, which model the output of physical devices rather than human visual perception, these transformations can be done only with the help of appropriate blend modes and the editing application. Because lab space is much larger than the gamut of computer displays, printers, or even human vision, a bitmap image represented as lab requires more data per pixel to obtain the same precision as an RGB or CMYK bitmap. In the 1990s, when computer hardware and software were limited to storing and manipulating mostly 8-bit channel bitmaps, Converting an RGB image to lab and back was a very lossy operation. With 16-bit channel and floating point support now common, the loss due to quantization is negligible. In addition, many of the colors within lab space fall outside the gamut of human vision, and are therefore purely imaginary. These colors cannot be reproduced in the physical world. Though color management software, such as that built into image editing applications, will pick the closest and gamut approximation, changing lightness, chroma, and sometimes hue in the process. Author Dan Margulis claims that this access to imaginary colors is useful, going between several steps in the manipulation of a picture. Differentiation, some specific uses of the abbreviation in software, literature etc. In Adobe Photoshop, image editing using lab mode is Cielab D50. In ICC profiles, the lab color space used as a profile connection space is Cielab D50. In TIFF files, the Cielab color space may be used. In PDF documents, the lab color space is Cielab. Cielab, CLAB is the most complete color space specified by the International Commission on Illumination. It describes all the colors visible to the human eye and was created to serve as a device independent model to be used as a reference. 
the three coordinates of psi L represent the lightness of the color, its position between red magenta and green and its position between yellow and blue. The asterisk after L, A and B are pronounced star and are part of the full name, since they represent L, A and B, to distinguish them from Hunter's L, A, and B, described below. Since the LAB model is a three-dimensional model, it can be represented properly only in a three-dimensional space. Two-dimensional depictions include chromaticity diagrams, sections of the color solid with a fixed lightness. It is crucial to realize that the visual representations of the full gamut of colors in this model are never accurate. They are there just to help in understanding the concept. Because the red, green, and yellow blue opponent channels are computed as differences of lightness transformations of cone responses, Cielab is a chromatic value color space. A related color space, the CIE 1976 color space, preserves the same L as LAB but has a different representation of the chromaticity components. Cielab and Salouf can also be expressed in cylindrical form, with the chromaticity components replaced by correlates of chroma and hue. Since Cielab and Salouf, the CIE has been incorporating an increasing number of color appearance phenomena into their models, to better model color vision. These color appearance models, of which Cielab is a simple example, culminated with CIE CAM02. Perceptual differences, the nonlinear relations for L, A, and B are intended to mimic the nonlinear response of the eye. Furthermore, Uniform changes of components in the LAB color space aim to correspond to uniform changes in perceived color, so the relative perceptual differences between any two colors in LAB can be approximated by treating each color as a point in a three-dimensional space and taking the Euclidean distance between them. RGB and CMYK conversions There are no simple formulas for conversion between RGB or CMYK values and LAB because the RGB and CMYK color models are device-dependent. The RGB or CMYK values first must be transformed to a specific absolute color space, such as sRGB or Adobe RGB. This adjustment will be device-dependent, but the resulting data from the transform will be device-independent, allowing data to be transformed to the CIE 1931 color space and then transformed into LAB. Range of coordinates as mentioned previously, the L coordinate ranges from 0 to 100. The possible range of A and B coordinates is independent of the color space that one is converting from, since the conversion below uses X and Y, which come from RGB. Cielepsiex conversions, Ford transformation. Where? Here, Xn, N and Zn are the CIEXYZ tristimulus values of the reference white point. The division of the domain of the f, t, function into two parts was done to prevent an infinite slope at t equals zero. f, t, was assumed to be linear below sum t equals t o, and was assumed to match the t1 slash 3 part of the function at t o in both value and slope. In other words, the intercept f, zero, equals b was chosen so that l would be zero for y equals zero. B equals 16 116 equals 4 slash 29. The above two equations can be solved for A and T O. Where I equals 6 slash 29. Reverse transformation. The reverse transformation is most easily expressed using the inverse of the function f above. Where? Hunter lab. L is a correlate of lightness, and is computed from the y tristimulus value using Priest's approximation to Munzel value wherein is the white tristimulus value of a specified white object. For surface color applications, the specified white object is usually a hypothetical material with unit reflectance that follows Lambert's law. The resulting L will be scaled between 0 and 100, roughly 10 times the Munzel value. Note that a medium lightness of 50 is produced by a luminance of 25, since A and B are termed opponent color axes. A represents, roughly, redness versus greenness. It is computed as. Where is a coefficient that depends upon the illuminant and is the X tristimulus value of the specified white object? The other opponent color axis, B, is positive for yellow colors and negative for blue colors. It is computed as. 
where Kb is a coefficient that depends upon the illuminant and Zn is the Z-tristimulus value of the specified white object. Both A and B will be zero for objects that have the same chromaticity coordinates as the specified white objects. The name for the system is an attribution to Richard S. Hunter. Approximate formulas for Ka and Kb, in the previous version of the Hunter lab color space, Ka was 175 and Kb was 70. Hunter Associates Lab discovered that better agreement could be obtained with other color difference metrics, such as Ciela by allowing these coefficients to depend upon the illuminants. Approximate formulae are, which result in the original values for illuminant C, the original illuminant with which the lab color space was used. As an Adams chromatic valence space, Adams chromatic valence color spaces are based on two elements, a uniform lightness scale, and a uniform chromaticity scale. If we take as the uniform lightness scale Priest's approximation to the Munzel value scale, which would be written in modern notation, and, as the uniform chromaticity coordinates, where k is a tuning coefficient, we obtain the two chromatic axes, and, which is identical to the Hunter lab formulas given above if we select k equals k slash 100 and k equals kb car. Therefore, the Hunter Lab color space is an Adams chromatic valence color space. See also, color theory, HSL and HSV, RGB color model, CMYK color model, references. External links, demonstrative color conversion applet, Cyelab color space by Gnott Hoffman, includes explanations of LAB conversion formulae, graphical depictions of various gamuts plotted in LAB space, and postscript code for performing the color transformations. Color differences